In this video, I'm going to show you how to add an image to your Flutter application. Okay, first thing we've got to do is import material. Now we are going to add main. Add a stateless widget by typing in STLESS. -S. For now, we are just going to take this out and put a scaffold. And then we will just do a center and a text widget here. So we have the scaffold going here and it just says image goes here at the moment. The quickest and easiest way to add an image to your app is to use one from the internet. And we will do that using something called image.network. So where the text widget is at the moment, we're gonna put it right there. Now, when we view the app, we can see the logo. There are multiple reasons why you might not want to do it this way though. For example, if a user doesn't have good service, they might not be able to download all the images. Or if you're paying for the bandwidth where the images are stored, that could get costly for you. So you can actually store the images locally by using image.asset instead. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create an assets folder. I'm going to click down here to make sure nothing is selected and then click there and do assets. So you see the folder there now. Now we are going to take the image that we want to use and we're going to drag it into that assets folder. So you see it right there. And then we need to go into the pubspec.yaml file. You'll see these entries right here and they're commented out. So I'm going to hold down command forward slash to uncomment them. And you're going to want to make sure that assets is two spaces and the dash is four spaces. One, two, three, four. Then we're going to change the name of this to assets and the file name to lfwm.png. We can close this and go in here and change this to image.asset. And we'll make the image name assets forward slash lfwm.png. If everything worked correctly, you should still see your image over here. If you're going to have a lot of images stored locally and you don't want to have to put them all in your PubSpec YAML file, you can just do a folder instead. And as you see, everything is still working correctly. So that should get you started with images. If you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing, and I hope to see you in the next one.